Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I decided to make another video of the Metagard Sanctuary because this time it was so different. There was a lot more lush growth and um, maybe a few uh, more interesting trails than I showed in the other video. The temperatures in Edmonton have gone down a little bit, averaging highs of 20 in the day. And the mornings have become a little more cooler, so you get this nice fog off the river, or creek in this case. This is the White Mud Creek. It's very beautiful. The area is called uh, McTaggart Sanctuary, but I've also heard it called the um, uh, Large Sanctuary as well. And I believe the area is run by the Edmonton and Area Land Trust. I'll put a link to it below in the description here. bat uh, house didn't see any bats that day maybe if it was later in the day or the evening if this was early in the morning I think it was about 8, 8 in the morning something like that about August 24th Some pretty substantial hills around the sanctuary. Um, it is recommended that you use hiking poles, especially for us today, this day. Uh, it just rained the day before. The trails were quite muddy. Makes life easier to have hiking poles, I found on this trail. As I said, this was about August 24th. Leaves were starting to change, but as you can see, not fully there yet. As you can see, there's, there was lots of moisture that morning. I'll link my other video at the end of this, um, and if you notice the trails that we walked through, and that was two years ago, it is a lot more lush this year. We had a lot of rain this summer, and it made a huge difference. Nice shot of the fog on the lake. I believe this is the Oxbow Lake um, that they mention on their website, which is the only Oxbow Lake in Edmonton. I should also mention, yeah, this uh, sanctuary isn't in Edmonton, uh, along 23rd Avenue. Yeah, I showed this just to show that 
another reason for the hiking poles. Um, the these hills are okay if they're dry, but when they get wet, they're like grease. They're very slippery, and the reason for that is is the white mud um, creek that runs through this. The reason it gets its name is because of the volcanic ash that's still around the banks and these trails and areas and that's from the days of the dinosaurs uh, back when there was a lot more volcanic activity in Alberta and the stuff when it gets wet you could literally slide down the hill on this stuff it's like grease and if you look at that part of that video again you'll notice like you can actually see finger marks people have slid backwards even the cobwebs are picking up the dew this morning It was beautiful, the mist was everywhere. It's the other thing too about the sanctuary, if you want to see wildlife, this is a pretty good place to see it. We've seen ducks, squirrels, woodpecker that we just showed. And it's like that along the White Mud Valley anyway, the Creek Valley there. But it's a great place to see lots of wildlife. I've seen deer. Um, I've heard rumors that uh, you can see moose. I have seen coyotes, rabbits. So yeah, if you're lucky, uh, you'll see lots of animals. Come early in the morning, though. Um, that area around 6.30, 8.30 is probably the best. you an idea of the trails. This is actually more reminiscent of what it looked like in 2018. Very wide like that. So that one stayed good. Oh yeah, I showed this. Um, if you look closely, these black rocks are actually coal. This whole area has got lots of coal in it. And it was just all over the bank here. I'm not sure in this area, but uh, downstream in Edmonton, they did a lot of coal mining back in the old days. Um, no more active mines. The coal ran out a long, long time ago. Yeah, just to give you an idea of how dangerous the trails can be. That one's washing away. It's interesting, the... Um, the camera too it doesn't give you an idea of how steep these paths are this is actually another slayer that one has a lot of that volcanic ash on it too what they call the white mud yeah um, this used to be a bridge a walking path and we came along this 
on the last weekend here and found it completely collapsed, so we had to come back. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really enjoy making these videos. Thank you.